On December 4th, 2025, Poland officially took delivery of its first Borsuk infantry fighting vehicles, marking a new era for its armored forces. Developed by Huta Stalowa Wola, the Borsuk is fully amphibious, armed with a 30mm Bushmaster II and Spike LR missiles, and built for frontline mobility across Europe's toughest terrain. With over 1,000 vehicles planned, it's the core of Poland's future mechanized force. Behind me you can see new infantry fighting vehicle developed by HSW and the big consortium of the companies of PGZ, Polish Armament uh, Group. This is brand new Polish construction developed by Polish designers and we are proud of it. Today we are uh, just finished first trials uh, regarding uh, mobility, uh, floating po possibility, because what you see behind me is an amphibious uh, uh, vehicle. It was uh, really challenging to combine uh, amphibious uh, possibilities, floating possibilities with the mine uh, protection on the certain level required by uh, Polish MOD. We've just started with the first mobility trials, with the uh, combining some some um, uh, devices inside uh, the vehicle, which is uh, very difficult uh, uh, for us with the trials. And uh, as you can see, we use uh, uh, rubber trucks, um, uh, which uh, are uh, getting our vehicle lighter, what is very important for the for the um, uh, floating possibility. So. Uh, now we are going to start with the prototype phase and the next year maybe we hope uh, start with the qualification. Now uh, this project uh, is uh, developing as a, as a replacement for uh, old um, infantry fighting vehicle based on the Russian uh, license. Uh, it's equipped with the power pack solution so it's it's really, really uh, modern. You can see uh, unmanned turret, 30 millimeters unmanned turret uh, as a main armament, uh, including um, uh, anti-tank spike missile on site. Uh, so we hope in the next few years that that will be uh, based armament, based equipment for the Polish armed forces. Poland's Borsuk infantry fighting vehicle and Germany's KF-41 Lynx represent two radically different visions of modern armored warfare. One is a lightweight amphibious platform designed for rapid maneuver in central European terrain. The other is a heavily armored multi-role combat system built for high threat expeditionary operations. Weighing just 28 tons, the Borsuk is fully amphibious, able to cross rivers without engineering support, an increasingly rare trait among modern IMDs. It's powered by a 720 horsepower MTU engine rides on a hydropneumatic suspension that gives it excellent cross-country mobility. In contrast, the KF-41 Lynx tips the scales at over 44 tons. It sacrifices mobility in water for maximum battlefield protection and modular adaptability. Armament is a key distinction. The Borsuk is equipped with the ZSSW-30 unmanned turret, featuring a 30mm Bushmaster II cannon a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and dual spike LR anti-tank guided missiles. The KF-41 carries Rheinmetall's Lance 2.0 turret, with a more powerful 35mm Wotan cannon, capable of firing programmable airburst rounds, along with spike LR2 missiles and an advanced fire control suite. While both vehicles offer strong anti-armor capabilities, the Lynx delivers a higher caliber punch and longer effective range protection levels reflect their roles. Borsuk's baseline armor is rated at Stanag level 4, enough to stop 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds and artillery fragments, with modular options for increased protection. The Lynx can reach Stanag level 6, withstanding 30mm AP rounds, and supports Rheinmetall's Strike Shield Active Protection System, significantly increasing crew survivability in high-intensity conflict zones. Crew and troop capacity also differ. Borsuk accommodates a crew of three and six dismounts, 
Lynx offers a larger internal volume, carrying up to eight infantry in addition to the crew. While Borsuk features modern digital controls and thermal sights, the Lynx integrates advanced C4 ISR systems, 360 degree sensor fusion, and can be configured for command and reconnaissance variants using its modular chassis. Ultimately, Borsuk is built for speed, terrain flexibility, and national self-sufficiency. Poland's Borsuk and America's M2A4. Bradley may serve the same battlefield role, but they come from vastly different generations of armored thinking. The Borsuk is a brand new platform built from scratch for Poland's future mechanized brigades. It's light, fully amphibious, and designed for regional operations across rivers and soft terrain. Its 720 horsepower engine and advanced suspension system give it high mobility in varied environments. The M2A4 Bradley, while still in frontline service with the US. Army is an upgraded version of a 1980s design, weighing about 36 tons with no amphibious capability. Firepower is a clear differentiator. The Borsuk mounts the ZSSW-30 remote turret with a 30mm Bushmaster II cannon, 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and dual spike LR missiles, offering fire and forget precision and long-range anti-armor capability. The M2A4 still carries the legacy, 25mm M242 cannon and tow missiles, effective, but based on older guidance and firing systems. Both vehicles offer Stanag Level 4 protection and accommodate modern battlefield electronics. But Borsuk benefits from a clean slate digital architecture built for integration with NATO command systems. The Bradley's upgraded electronics improve survivability and sensor integration, but remain constrained by legacy space and power limitations. Ultimately, Borsuk represents the future of tracked IFVs, light, networked, and terrain adapted. Back is a new IV infantry fighting vehicle. It is the latest generation of IV and one of the most modern IV in the world. It offers capabilities in terms of firepower, protection, and mobility. I'm an electronic engineer. My name is Gon Choi. I'm designing the, this uh, Redback vehicle. AS, uh, so, so, so the basic features of a Redback can be four. The one is survivability. The, uh, the Austria Army requires a high level of protection for this vehicle. So one survivability, the next one is a firepower. For the firepower, it has a 30 millimeter cannon on it and 12.7 millimeter machine gun. And the third feature is mobility, high mobility. It has up to, it can run up to 65 kilometers per hour. And the fourth feature is digitalization. So uh, development of red bags started in 2018. First development, is, has been complete. However, we need extra development uh, works to meet the, the specific needs of Austria Army and we're looking toward 2026 for the full delivery of Redback to Austria Army. In order to uh, meet the future re uh, battle combat requirements that uh, from the Austria Army, Redback has two uh, special features on it. It has become much larger uh, compared to other same type of uh, light vehicle. It's a bit com comparatively larger and also heavier, heavier for higher level of protection. However, still it's a fast. It has a 1,000 horsepower engine on it, mounted on it, uh, with the power pack. Uh, it can level up to uh, 65 kilometers per hour. And the next thing is digitalization. In the 21st century, the future combat uh, scenes demand a high level of digitalization. So. Digitalization and uh, heavy but fast speed are two uniqueness of this Redback. Redback will be replacing the M113 series uh, that's in Austria Army. This is a next generation vehicle, so the previous models uh, are now becoming obsolete. So Austria Army seem to prepare for the next generation vehicle. So, so Redback uh, was designed for the next generation combat scenes. We have won the contract from Austria uh, Army. The size of the sales is more than 100 vehicles, more than 100, and this is very meaningful in a way that it's the first export of this type of vehicle from Korea to overseas. Uh, we, we are looking for very high potential of big sales in the future since it's a very uh, heavy, heavily armored or heavily protected vehicle. Uh, we, we see uh, a lot of potential 
uh, buying nations in the future. Uh, so we, HANA Aerospace, are ready to deliver this uh, great vehicle right back to any, any client, a customer nation that will need uh, for the future combat. In today's increasingly competitive IFV market, the Borsuk stands out not by overpowering its rivals, but by outmaneuvering them. Lighter than the KF-41, more modern than the Bradley, and more versatile than the Redback, Borsuk delivers NATO standard lethality with unmatched amphibious mobility. As Poland fields it in growing numbers, Borsuk isn't just a national asset, it's a serious contender in the global armored vehicle race.